You'll get to see on this terrain how the two rollers in the middle work. Rivals. Misty damp again this morning. We have another kind of day we have to wait until one o'clock until we start combining, until the sun comes out and burns that moisture off. By the time one o'clock comes round, most of this pile will all be dried and out. We've got barley to shift. Green pusher still needs to be finished. Kev won't get bailing until well, a good bit later. One, two o'clock. Dunk and Kev are gonna pop on a big trailer each. I'm going to take the malting barley that we need to take along the road. First load loaded up, all this is to go along. I think there's seven and a bit loads altogether. Kev's okay, just taken the old tractor off of this. He's gonna put his own on. That's his. Well, ours, but it's his. Duncan Kev, we're gonna keep shifting all this. It's Kev way in to get a load. Into the big old shed, it disappears in there. I'm off to pick up some steel, um, some 10 mil by 100 mil flat bar. That's to make the headstock for the grain pusher. So when we get it from the digger guys, they've got a rack of all sorts of different shapes and sizes of steel. And I don't want to order just one piece. And um, so it costs 30, 32 pound delivery or something like that. Get it from them, they'll, they'll just add it to another bill we get for some work that's getting done. Rivals. More yellow signs, anyway. This is coming along fairly nicely. A wee bit left to sheet on top, then all this is to be wooled every single open bit you see and then resheeted. Should work pretty well for us in terms of storage, maximise the space as much as possible. Insulated, environment free, that's what we like. Just that bit of steel, Dad took the trailer off the Discovery, so I need to take it round to where the green pusher is and the band saw so I can chop it up. Duncan Kev, I've not got much to go. Two loads will finish that. One load left, Kev will get that. Dunk's just filled up this trailer. He filled up, he's still got a bit to put in the middle. Got that bit of steel taken off. Probably could do with like 20 mil section to do it all with, but there's no point in using 20 mil section when the frame's not that heavy. There's no point using really heavy steel just to make the face plate on it waste of time they'll just break elsewhere so make that roughly the standard of that Let's see what happens that's all that's left so Duncan and Kev have just about shifted it all Kev's gonna get the last bit there Dunk's away up to the combine he's left his tractor and trailer there I'm gonna jump in this uh, if I've got a key on it key in my pocket hopefully jackpot also, apparently, there's to be someone coming for the roller door today, but it's quite past 11 already and there's no sign of anyone. After they gave us a lot of grief on the phone. Off, Dunks, happy out the field. Just got a few good drone bits because we're right next to the sunflowers and we'll only be here for an hour and a half and then we're away back along the road, so might as well get a few shots of the sunflowers while I'm here. They look quite cool, to be honest. Just gone past, he'll be drawn straight into the farm. Dad's clearing a space for him. I think he's turning right, yeah, he's slowing down. 
Sunflower's looking well. Quite a few people in them this morning. Someone in there. Someone just beyond those ones. First load of limestone there. Well, only load. 29 ton. Small pile, isn't it? Obviously, it's limestone. It's just stone. Tiny wee chips of limestone. So it's really dense. So the volume is really small for the 20, what is it? Probably 29 ton there. Almost finished this field. Just what you can see left. Up and down. Get filled up just now. We'll get along the road. Yeah, we'll be we'll get the real boost as well. Another field wiped out. We'll head along the road and get to some malting barley now. This was seed. Right, headers off. We head into the yard to refuel in the combine and add blue mainly. Well, needs fuel as well, but add blue because it's a bit more awkward getting add blue out to a field. We've not got an add blue tank um, to, to to tow out to a field. Um, so it's a bit more awkward, you know, 13 amp plug and whatnot and a forklift out of the field. So we'll just fill up here and that'll add blue should do at least two tanks of diesel. We can get diesel to them, no, well, no, not no problem, but easier. Roll out, off to the next. Kev's off of the rail, dunks away with the combine. This is our narrowest bit of road to get the combine up. The worst bit's probably just halfway up that hill. There's a bit of a tight bend. There's a ditch on that side, kind of between that bush and the grass. And then you go further up and there's a ditch on the other side. That's why it's shifting over to the left now, so it doesn't fall in the ditch on the right. It's quite a nasty ditch down there. Wouldn't want to combine in there. We've already been up here once with the new combine, so we know it fits. And we did, we did do some rough measurements before we bought it, to make sure. So, old combine and new combine technically are exactly the same width on the wheelbase, uh, 3.49 uh, 3 meters. The actual body of this new combine is, I think it's 300 mil wider, the width of a straw walker basically, because the old one was a five, this is a six straw walker. But the tracks on the front are narrower than tires, and um, so tires have a wider profile um, than the old one, so they're mounted wider the tracks, but because they're narrower, it works out exactly the same. See right how close he has to get up that wee banking to avoid this metal strainer as well. It's not even a, a wooden one. Look how narrow that is. That is, oh, I'm glad it's not me. It's a bit of a blessing and a curse. This uh, really good weather. We've got tickets to, to Johnston versus Alaska tonight. Huge game, big game. But they're gonna be busy, so we need to try and sell them. Kev was up here earlier to do drop off the trailer before he came back for the the real convoy. On to and Kev's just over the hill. Kev is just eyeing up whether Dunk's gonna make it through the gate with a header. I hope so. Header's wider than the gate, but Dunk's gonna see if he can he can tilt it up one side and get that side over, then tilt the other side and fiddle about. Come back on the trolley, we'll have to drive it up, and there's another gate over there. You can see all the rape reseeding itself. So that's all the crop that was missed. Um, so you never get all of it, quite a lot of it falls again, and then it re -sows. And obviously, it's germinated and starting to grow in amongst all this rubbish. We'll go over this with the discs. This is today's field. Well, we'll get this bashed out. It's a tiny wee field. You'll get to see on this terrain how the two rollers in the middle work. They're on pistons. So when they go over a hump, they, uh, they compress back the way. So the track follows any humps and any undulations in the ground. If some people remember, which will only be like a few other people who watched the video, but at the kind of very start of making the videos, I was rolling this field um, and I came up to this end towards the forest line that was still quite damp because the wind and the weather, the, the sunshine hadn't got to it. 
so I went and rolled this bit but I only did one strip um, because it got too damp and you can see exactly where I've been so you can see two tram lines there that's where I went with the tractor and because it was so wet and sticky I just kind of clogged up the ground and ruined the seed bed where I'd driven so that's why there's those tracks there and there's not such a good crop in those tracks this field's a trek back to the yard from over that dip we go here over this hill down through the windy road of the farmyard and then you finally get out onto the main road although it's better than it used to be we put in that gate at the end of this field so we can drive through this field otherwise you have to go a wee track that goes around the outside and it's too narrow and too tight to actually turn with a trailer on you'd have to there's a bit down there you have to go into another field doing a u-turn to come back out and get through the gate because if you turn you'd wipe out the inside of the corner this is the next wee field we're off to um so the field at the top finished uh, i'm gonna go and head up and get the trolley so we can bring the header back down here we can do this field we're off back up and over to the wee field Header's off, I'm just there, he's just starting in that field. Just chuck this trailer back on here. Might need to get on floor a bit. Just about lost that forever. We've got some uh, football and combine fans. They're getting to go, they're getting to use their tickets. Mine, I've sold two of them, still got one left to sell. Just got clumped up with a bit of soil there, so I think you have to change a lifter as well. Where Dunk, you can see there where he's been picking up some soil and whatnot, and that's basically on the tram line. What's happened is when it's been wet and it's been sprayed or fertilised or whatever, it's been wet and the tractor's gone through it. Um, the tractor's sunk a bit and ruts have kind of been pushed upwards. And then the combine's obviously lifted that because the ground's not flat anymore, there's a bit of a ridge. That is just shifting all that limestone inside. A load of soya came as well. It's already, it's been put down in the bottom shed, the wee shed. It gets used for keeping the limestone, soya, minerals and oil. Just about finished this field. Duncan Kever over there. Kev should get this last wee strip into his trailer. So I just dumped my trailer. So I just put the trolley on again. Change the drawbar trolley on. Listen to the football. Football's not even on the radio though, it's just updates. Grab the chocks. Don't always put the chocks down. Just if uh, we're on a bit of a slope here. See if it rolling off the way down the hill. Viners, they've just been vining loads of peas just down the road. There's like a squad of eight of them. There they go, there's actually only three in this squad, they must have split up. Another swap. So we're now into another field, rattling through it. Rattling through it, it's, it's been so easy so far this year. Don't want to speak too soon, but it has. Um, if I head back down to the field, nil nil in the football, just about half time. We need to win it. Big game. Big game. We have to win it. If it's the same as yesterday, which forecasts look identical, then we're done at 10. It's 8 o'clock now. As soon as that sun disappears, it's basically disappeared now. Moisture falls. It doesn't burn off at all. It's game over. 
Right, I'm just full up. I'm coming out a wee hollow, so it's foot to the floor. Uh, I'm gonna head back home. This is my last load. Kevin's just at the field just now waiting, so he'll get filled up. That'll take us to about 10 o'clock, and it'll slow down drastically between now and 10. Back home, that's where the lime used to be. Sawyer's in the bottom shed, lime's in the corner of the shed. Running out of space. Seed barley almost complete. There's another batch in a bit there. Now, possibly get it all in one. This is all the barley that we're at today. That trailer's still full. Kev's, on, Kev's trailer's along the road, full as well. I've just got a load here, and Dad's pushing up the pile in here, so I'm just going to, when well, he's on two wheels, um, dump this pile in for him to push up as well. Finished in this shed tonight, roller door, they came and uh, fixed it. Well, kind of. It's totally daft. We had a spark, he looked at it, and he said, there's something on the end. I don't know what it is, but disconnect it, and it works fine. So I could leave it like that or not. So, so he phoned them up instead to ask what the thing was. They said, they basically threw a bit of a huff saying we're not allowed to touch it for warranty reasons. And then what they did is they sent a sparky up from the borders, paid him to come all the way up and do the exact same thing, disconnected um, the thing on the end and got it working again and then left. It's absolutely daft just cost them extra money. Back at the dryer now, it's, it's late, or it's early, whatever it is, whatever you call it. I'm gonna fill up the pit, make sure this dryer starts, and then in a few hours time, once it's emptying and needing going again, Dad's gonna get up and do it. Push all the edges into the pit. The dryer's just started, so it's left kind of an awkward amount on the pit. It's too much to then just discard that as seed and make it to um, to add to the other pile of stuff we combined today keep it as seed that need to run through awkward amount went and grabbed the key dumped this in the big shed and then load it up again with what's left there and that's everything I can do for now the flipping door because it works it's shut Oh, what? Dad's taking the key for this, you're joking. I'm not coming back down. Barking it up. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Good night. What about my side?